Okay, so I'm back. This is going to be the gothic um, style makeup tutorial. I've already done it before, so I know exactly what to do. I just won't have my highlight colors in, please. That will shark me. I can't do that anymore. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to go with black. Black. The basics. Foundation. Cover up. No brush, no blush. Lips, definitely. And maybe a grayish pink eyeshadow. Depends on which one I feel like. So, first of all, foundation. Is there anything else? Sometimes I just. Like in a hurry. Someone look like one of those dorks. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. I feel like what I call them, I call them smear marks. Because for one, if like it just smears and you get a line of residue, then you just have to bump those up. Because then it just looks very wrong. Just going to get my eyes a bit more. Then you don't correspond. Mm -hmm. Again, you're going to underneath the eye. I do three circles underneath my eyes because I have not been taking off. So, and then I just do it over the top. Uh, for eyebrow crease, and then the eyelid itself. Because um, um, sometimes my eyes just like get red and my eyelids can swell them so it's like not the perfect thing to have. There's that. I'm gonna take the black eyeliner and I'm, I don't put it on too thick because for one, I, if I find it too thick, I'll end up rubbing it off. So, this is the gothic look. I've done it a couple of times when I was at home. I don't usually do the bottom of my eye very often because it makes my eyes fall out. And we're just 
کنم Sometimes you can just lay your favorite colors. I don't use black with mine because I noticed that if I do, it just makes my eye look like I got black eye. I'm just doing what it looks like is a plum purple right here. Instead of doing one fire at a time, I do it double sided so in case if I start running low on it, uh, if I start running low on it, have a certain color Don't have. They uh, lip, lip crayon or lip pencil to where it outlines it. I 
some people, because some girls have that signature hair too, sometimes they wear it, sometimes they wear it, and sometimes they don't. This is mine. Yeah, so, pretty much a boring look, but great costume ideas or anything, because one year, I went as a China girl, a broken China girl. Some would say I'm the best of a Star Wars sci-fi geek, so this is I had my own had the, like it was the bottom of that was red. And it just. And now almost every guru I know has tried to find. with the traditional Much better. You switch up the colors instead of going to the store, trying to find a white powder makeup, and then a red, and then a white one again. It just sounds like boring. No, it's not good. So it looks like a blue on top, pink on the bottom. Princess Leia has the name. I noticed a show stealer at Comic Con because everyone has the same idea and no one seems to think okay well if they should have a copycat me and who does who looks better and everything well I have a solution for that. Instead of the plant in the light girl layer, try to do um uh pad my their mother. I know, um, most people don't even think that, because they're going, oh, she's a mother, she's dead, oh, oh my god, they're just saying that you never show a stop, that may seem to be very underrated in Comic Con, everything I've listened to and seen, because I've never went to Comic Con, I've only seen it with movies and videos of my friends, no one I've seen looks like that nice. When she was in a younger version, or when she was Queen of the Boot. I would very much like to see at least some people pay more respect to Padme. I mean, she was a blaring woman. If it wasn't for her, Luke and Leia wouldn't have existed in the first place. My rank with my music, my 
Tutorial for my gospel. Have a nice day, and I'll probably end up doing one of my vlogs after this. Probably end up playing my shorts. Probably won't. You never know.